All right, so I got my old uh, uh, iPad to work, and we're playing the old Scribble Nuts. Got to get the right camera angle. Oh my God, this brings back so many fucking memories. I'm not sure which hand to play with. I'm gonna use my right hand. Uh, I forget how to fucking you do this. Okay, you gotta go like this. Um, what is over here? Start. Okay. <laughs> you can see my reflection. Start. All right. Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be <coughs> undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there having lunch. They competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. The two of them semi-retired to start a family. And they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. Jesus. One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof, the word would come to life. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. So they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. If you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, that's it. I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the starites in the world, and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. Okay. The forest is pretty... Let's see... Walk to the farmer, Edwin. Turn the rent of the liver into the war of the tree. Huh, well, that's how you do it.
Big Poppy. Wings. What are you this for? Oh, I need it now, I need it. C1. <laughs> Alright, that was Scribble Knots. I'm going to that's the first of out of a bunch of starites. See you guys later.